Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Here are your morning headlines for Monday, July 29th. The Fort Wayne Fire Department responded to a reported house fire shortly before 4.30 this morning. The firefighters responded to the house fire in the 2100 block of Well Street between West State Boulevard and Jacobs Avenue. When crews arrived, they saw heavy flames and smoke coming from the home. Three people were able to get out safely on their own, two adults and one child. It took less than 15 minutes to get the fire under control. The house was has heavy fire and smoke damage and moderate water damage. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Well Street was closed in the area while they fought the fire, but it is now back open. Today kicks off our 15 days of back-to-school coverage as local students prepare to start classes next week. One struggle some families might face is making sure students eat healthy food. Experts say one important step to take routinely is offering healthy foods to children before school starts. That way, there's less of a sudden shift from summer eating to school meals. A family nurse practitioner says one of the best ways to set students up for success is breakfast. If your student is a picky eater also, it might be helpful to take them shopping with you and also help prepare their lunch to set them up for success. Be sure to tune into First News every morning for more helpful tips as our 15 days of back-to-school coverage continues through August 12th. Right now on Wayne.com, you can learn more about the Harris family. That is a ham family full of volleyball stars. Plus, today and the rest of the week is Local Food Week. Local Food Week, let's say that right. Uh, one of the many things happening today is farm tours at the Johnny May Farm. Plus, we are talking about high humidity, so let's get right over to that weather forecast. All right, like I mentioned, humid. We are cloudy today, and we do have the chance to see some rain and storms. Looking at Storm Tracker, you can see a system off to the west that is inching closer to us. That isn't going to bring us any widespread showers or storms. Really, it's going to end up fizzling out a little bit, and we're going to see some scattered showers and storms. So it's not going to hit the whole area all at once. And nothing looks uh, concerning as far as severe weather threats right now. Looking at our hourly planner, you can see those small chances to see some rain as we continue into the afternoon. And that is when we'll see those chances to see some showers and storms. High temperatures today only reaching the lower 80s. But again, that humidity is really starting to build. And you will start to feel it as soon as you walk outside. You probably started to feel it yesterday. And that will continue over the next couple of days. Looking at Parkview Field right now, things all quiet. Tin caps back in town tomorrow. But you can see those cloudy skies that will continue to be in our area for the morning hours. Looking at that exclusive 10-day forecast, our temperatures will start to build as we head towards the first day of August on Thursday. And we will We'll have that high humidity continue, not seeing a break from that until we hit the weekend. Things looking pretty stormy and scattered showers on Wednesday and Thursday, Friday and Saturday as well. Nothing widespread by any means again, uh, but just that kind of late summer humid weather that we see those late afternoon showers and storms. We'll see you back here today at noon. We'll also see you during first uh, at the news at noon. My goodness, I need another cup of coffee already. Well, in the meantime, have a Good morning.